Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the True Blue cigarettes, which I will admit I am looking forward to doing a lot more than not. These are shaping up to be an interesting looking and interesting smoking cigarette, maybe, and they're also quite hard to find. Both of those factors, all of those factors, make me quite excited to see just how truly good or truly bad true blue cigarettes actually are. That was a pretty bad play on words, so I do apologize, y'all, but I had to do it to them. The brand name for this brand is True, after all, so this video truly is going to be full of me just saying truly because I think it's funny because that's what the brand name of this is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what is True as a cigarette brand? Well, True was introduced in 1966 by the Lori Lard Tobacco Company as a low-tar cigarette brand to compete with other low-tar cigarette brands in the American market. And from release, True had two different varieties. They had the True Blues, which is the pack I have with me today, and the True Greens, which is a menthol variety of the True Blues, essentially. And also from release, the Trues contained a recessed filter, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. However, other than what I just said, I will admit I don't know all that much about True as a cigarette brand. I know that they were marketed as a low-tar cigarette brand throughout the 1960s and into the 1970s, but I will admit I don't know how popular True actually got. I don't know if the brand ever truly got uh, significantly large or anything like that kind of thing. And finding statistics on whether True actually got large or not is definitely a little bit harder than not just because of the brand name. I don't think the people who made the, the True brand name were thinking about search engine optimization when they made the brand name, that is for sure but it's not really like the internet really was a thing in the 1960s, so makes sense, you know what I'm saying, makes sense. But because of the brand name, it's definitely a little bit harder than not to find information about how popular these cigarettes got. But what I do know is that true print advertisements tapered off in the late 1970s, early 1980s. And so if I had to guess at least, that's probably when the brand started fading into obscurity. They probably gained some popularity in the late 1960s, early 1970s, and then the fad was over and they started losing popularity after that. That's my personal guess at least, but I have no proof to back that up. These days, True is still produced, thankfully. True is not produced by Lori Lard anymore, as Lori Lard as a tobacco company does not exist in the same form it once did. But due to the purchase of Lori Lard by R.J. Reynolds in 2014, R.J. Reynolds is now the producer of True as a cigarette brand. And thankfully, they've continued producing True up until this day. Although it is worth mentioning that Trues are very, very, very difficult to find. In fact, I've never actually seen a pack in my local area before. And so as such, I am certainly very glad to have a pack with me today, thanks to Fred Scott. Thank you so much to Fred Scott for sending this pack of cigarettes over to my PO box for me to make some videos about. I really, really, really do appreciate it. This video would literally not be possible without you because I've literally never seen these for sale in my local area. But yes, Trues are indeed still produced today, now by RJ Reynolds, but they are very, very, very hard to find, and they are by no means popular today, that is for sure. But I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say for my intro, and so now I do suppose, without further ado, I should probably go ahead and go over my expectations for, well, the True Blue cigarettes. Well, these are very much a lighter than not cigarette. They are a low tar cigarette after all, so they're probably going to be light to ultra light territory if I had to guess. And so as such, I'm not really expecting to enjoy them all that much. But what are my specific expectations taste-wise for, well, this pack of cigarettes right here? Well, if I had to guess, I'm probably going to get a sweet tobacco taste, a very mild sweet tobacco taste with a little bit of sourness coming from the paper. I'm thinking, honestly, that's just kind of a shot in the dark. That's just kind of the vibes I'm getting from this pack of cigarettes, I will admit, but I'm not really sure 
if that's the actual taste I'm gonna get from these cigarettes right here. I am thinking there's probably going to be a pretty significant paper-like taste. I'm thinking there might be a little bit of a chemical taste, and I'm thinking there might be a little bit of an additive taste as well kind of thing, but overall, more so than not, I am just expecting sort of a sweet tobacco taste with a sourness coming from the paper and maybe some paper taste on top with hopefully the additive and chemical tastes that I am kind of expecting being very much in the undertone and hopefully not existing at all. That's pretty much what I'm expecting taste-wise from this pack of cigarettes right here, but it would not surprise me at all if uh, that prediction is completely wrong because I really do have no clue what these are actually going to taste like and I don't even know what to guess that these are going to taste like so that really was my best guess right there. I'd have to say body wise the body is probably going to be pretty small and pretty airy. These are a uh, light to ultra light territory cigarette after all so I am definitely expecting the body to be a lot smaller than not. I'm expecting the airflow to be perfectly fine though and I am expecting the draw to be very 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 light and airy due to expected perforation on the filter but I'd have to say I am expecting the roughness of these cigarettes to be uh, smoother than not. I definitely have to say I'd have to say the roughness of these cigarettes I'm expecting them to be probably around a 5 out of 10, if not even lower on the roughness to smoothness scale, uh, where I, the roughness to smoothness scale I use uh, goes from 1 to 10, with 10 being the roughest and 1 being the smoothest. So 5 out of 10 places these right smack dab in the middle of the scale. I am expecting these to be around about a 5 out of 10, if not slightly smoother. Was there something else I wanted to say? I feel like I'm forgetting to mention something about the draw. I'm expecting a really light and airy draw due to expected perforation on the filter and the fact that these are a light cigarette as a whole. I feel like I'm forgetting to say something, but I can't remember in all honesty, but um, yeah, those are pretty much my expectations for, well, this pack of cigarettes right here. I'm definitely expecting a more interesting cigarette than not, um, by all means, that is for sure, uh, and I'll get to that in just a little bit, but, but I'm not really expecting a cigarette that I enjoy all that much. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. Let me just put it that way. But I do suppose, without further ado, I should probably go ahead and start going over the packaging of, well, the True Blues, now shouldn't I? After going over the packaging, I'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off. I'm going to go and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up. I'm going to go ahead and get one of the cigarettes out. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, what the quality of them is like. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the True Blues all lit up. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think of, well, these cigarettes right here. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on the True Blues. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and give them a rating. But first off, as said, we got to go over the packaging, which I will admit, I'm not really a super big fan of not really a super big fan of. I think I'm definitely going to like it more once I get the cellophane all off, but I'm just not the really, I'm not really the biggest fan of this packaging, I will admit. I've seen what the original true blue packaging looked like from the 1960s, and I think it's a much better look personally. This is a redesigned look. It has some aspects from the original packaging, but it's, it's a different look than the original packaging that they had in the 1960s, and I think the original 1960s packaging looked better in my personal opinion, but there are some aspects to this packaging that I do like, but more so than not, I'm not a very big fan of this packaging, I will admit. But the aspects I do like, just off the top of my head, are the signifiers of how light this cigarette is on the packaging. They use a silver background for the entire packaging, which signifies that these are a lighter cigarette than not. They're also using blue colors. Blue, generally, is used to signify lighter cigarettes. So this is another signifier saying, hey, this is a lighter cigarette than not kind of thing. I think those signifiers are a really, really, really good design trait for this packaging. And I also really like this little logo right here. The true logo right here, I think looks fantastic. And from like some angles and stuff like that kind of thing from some certain angles specifically like from like I guess kind of top down but more so like I'd have to say like I'm trying to think like I'd say like that angle right there I'm sure it'll look better with the cellophane off but like from that angle right there in my opinion um it kind of looks actually three-dimensional in real life which I think was exactly their goal and that is a little tidbit that I do like quite a bit that is for sure but overall more so than not I'm really not a big fan of the packaging it has a retro look to it helped by the fact that this is a soft pack of cigarettes but it's not a retro look that has aged very well in my personal opinion. In fact, I think it looks quite dated. And while that is something that does kind of have a certain charm to it, I really just am, am, am in general not the biggest fan of this packaging as a whole, but there are aspects to it that I do like. 
But let's go ahead and start covering the details of the packaging, starting off with the background. We can see the background right here is just a very nice sort of, I'd have to say, metallic silver. It's a, a nice look if I do say so myself. And as said previously, it signifies that these are a lighter than not cigarette. We can just see there is the um, sort of like soft pack, like little um, strip, just making sure it all stays in place and everything like that kind of thing. Just stretching down from the top, just says quality tobaccos in black right there. And then that just has some lines going over there, there just like that and everything like that kind of thing. Moving on below that, we can just see the true logo itself right here, just in very basic print font. You know what I'm saying? Not really a particularly interesting logo by any means. It just says true in dark blue. There's no drop shadow, no shading, nothing like that. Just says true in dark blue in a pretty basic font, if I do say so myself. Nothing wrong with the basic font, but it's definitely, eh, not like the most distinct from a distance. I mean, like I do suppose a little bit more distinct than not. But the main distinction is due to the uh, circle right here, not due to the actual true logo itself. But yeah, uh, moving on past the true logo right here, which is just pretty basic as a whole. I will admit I'm not really the super big. I'm not really the, a super big fan of it. That is for sure. We can just see there are four uh, blue lines stretching from either side kind of thing, which are pretty cool. If I do say so myself, these are light blue lines, not dark blue lines like the true logo itself. And while I was initially looking at this packaging, I was like, oh, cool. Those blue lines, they're going to stretch all the way around the packaging. That's going to be really nice. No, they don't. They don't. They don't stretch all the way around the packaging. They stretch a little bit around the packaging. They don't stretch all the... You know, if they had just moved this text down, if they had just moved this just a little bit more in or something like that, they could have had these going all the way around the packaging. And you know what? I'd actually like the packaging a lot more, but no, it just stops right there. And to me, at least, that just looks so awkward. Why would you put a line going across and then just stop it right there for no reason kind of thing? It just looks so awkward. I'm not a fan of that. I will admit, I'm not a fan of that. But I do like how the blue lines right here contrast with the, the, the dark blue text right here and everything like that kind of thing. That's not so bad, I will admit. Moving on below all of this stuff right here, we can see the rest of the packaging to the sides is very much blank. But in the center, there is a little bit of a different sort of gray area right here. It's not quite silver anymore, I definitely have to say. It's more like a matte gray, I definitely have to say. And we can see it's not shiny like the rest of the packaging is. At the bottom right here in dark blue, it just says blue. And then at the top of this sort of gray area right here, we can see the true logo right here which is a which contains a triangle in the center and then like three sides over here with a lines in white going through the center and we can see some shading in dark blue right there and some shading in dark blue right here and then light blue over here and everything like that kind of thing and then white in the center and this triangle right here looks like a play button kind of thing it looks like a youtube play button which is pretty amusing to me i will admit and from an angle it does kind of look a little bit three-dimensional overall i like this logo a lot more than not now one of the interesting things about this cigarette that I declined to mention at the very, very beginning of this video is that the recessed filters actually have this design in them. That's right, the filters are recessed, but they have a little plastic piece or paper piece in the uh, recessment uh, that looks like this design, apparently, from what I've heard at least, which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. Excuse me, excuse me. But, you know, that's pretty much all there is to the front of the packaging, I'll be honest with y'all. I think the best part about the front of the packaging really is the design right here and the background. That's really my favorite part of the packaging, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Other than that, I'm not really a super big fan of how the packaging looks as a whole. It's not a terrible look per se, but it's also definitely not a great look. It's definitely slightly below average in my personal opinion, and it does look dated, and it doesn't look really... I mean, like, it looks retro, but it looks dated... kept here in Warren and I was like is somebody like drilling something it's currently Sunday afternoon I was like why is somebody drilling something at the park no they're playing with RC cars over there I was like I, I was like what what is going on why is there Warren somebody using an electric drill no RC cars that makes much more sense you know what I'm saying that makes much more sense that distracted me just for a moment I will admit but as I'm sure you guys can tell more so than not I am not really the biggest fan of this packaging but there are aspects of it that I do like, that is for sure. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover and talked about everything I wanted to talk about for the front of the packaging though. So now let's go ahead and talk about the back of the packaging, which is exactly the same as the front. There are literally no differences at all. Uh, yep, these uh, blue lines right here are in the exact same spot. Everything is literally in the exact same spot on the back of the packaging as on the front. It's literally the exact same look. 
not much to talk about, I will admit. So let's go ahead and move on to this side of the packaging right here. We can just see the barcode right here in dark blue, which is interesting. I will admit it is interesting that this is in dark blue instead of being in black. And then we could just see the FSC uh, compliance uh, letters right here and everything like that kind of thing. And then in dark blue, we could just see all of the information about the producer of these cigarettes, RJ Reynolds. It just says copyright RJ Reynolds Tobacco Company, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, 27102, USA, www.rjrt.com, 1-800-341. 5211, which is like their consumer helpline and everything like that kind of thing. And then it just says underage sale prohibited, 20 class A cigarettes, please don't litter, which I do appreciate, I will admit. And um, yep, that's uh, pretty much all there is to this side of the packaging. Pretty basic if I do say so myself. Moving on to the other side, we could just see it's just the Surgeon General warning right here in dark blue. Once again, it just says Surgeon General warning, cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide. Well, yeah, that's like half the reason I smoke. I want to get carbon monoxide in my brain and whatnot that's like half of what gives me the buzz i ain't gonna lie y'all um so i'm just gonna ignore that i'll be frank with y'all and so now that i've covered all of the main sides of the packaging let's go and cover the top of the packaging real quick we can just see it's very much a soft pack the two soft uh soft pack rip tabs on this side and then there's a strip going through the center right here just to make sure that the um insert in the actual packaging itself doesn't just fly out and everything like that kind of thing and we could just see on that insert, it just says 20 Class A cigarettes right there. It just says 20 in the center and then Class A cigarettes right there in a circle all in black. Not a bad look if I do say so myself. Got lines on either side. Not too bad. Pretty basic look if I do say so myself. And it's pretty much the same exact uh, sort of like soft pack design rat tat rip. It's the same soft pack ribbon tab thing that the that rj reynolds is uses on pretty much every other pack of cigarettes so it's really pretty it is really nothing new to me i will admit it's pretty familiar i will admit um one thing i do want to mention is that this look at how off center that is this is cut really close to the side on this side and this is cut really far from the side on that side eh, that's not very good i will admit well it is what it is kind of thing it's not like it's actually a big deal but still come on come on i can't believe that you know what i'm saying i can't believe that but without further ado let's go ahead and move on to the bottom of the packaging there's really not much to talk about on the top of the packaging that is for sure and the bottom of the packaging is basically just a miniature version of the front of the packaging with a little bit more as well we can just see in the center right here it just says true in that dark blue text and then we can just see those light blue lines stretching um horizontally across and then we could just see it just says blue down here and then it just says kings as well that's that little bit of extra information this is indeed the true blue king pack they also make a 100s pack i want to say and according to the rj reynolds website they also make a box pack as well not a soft pack um but what I have with me today are the True Blue Kings, which is the original variety they released with, so I'm glad to have them with me today, that is for sure. But, you know, just says True Blue Kings on the bottom right there, and then we could just see um, there's an Indiana tax stamp right here, which is where they were uh, purchased, and then we could just see there's some blue on this side and some blue on this side, and there's just some cigarette numbers right there, and the cigarette numbers read 1DB3XNO. I don't know what any of that means, but if you guys know what that means, please let me know in the comments down below. But um, yeah, that's a uh, pretty much all there is to the packaging overall not really a big fan i will admit it's not a bad look by any means and i do think i'll like it a little bit more once i get the cellophane all off but but it's definitely dated it has a certain charm to it i definitely do think this right here is the main part i really like kind of thing i really like this logo right here this is this is nice but overall the packaging i'm not really a super big fan of and it kind of comes off like one of those packs of cigarettes you see in like movies kind of comes off like that like it kind of comes off like a pack of cigarettes like fake cigarettes like morley's or something that you'd see in movies that's that's kind of how it comes off which is pretty amusing it's a pretty basic look looks kind of outdated doesn't look the greatest in my opinion but there are aspects uh, to it that i do like but it's definitely not above average packaging in my opinion it's definitely not bad packaging it's just slightly below average and I'm not the biggest fan of it by any means. It's not ugly packaging. I don't mind it, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. I do like this though. I, I like this design right here quite a bit. I'm a fan of that though, I will admit. Let's go ahead and get the cellophane all off though. And let's go and take a look at what the quality of the packaging is actually like and everything like that. I'm gonna go and shove the cellophane in my backpack. Gotta make sure I'm not littering or anything like that. And what do I think about the packaging now that I've gotten the cellophane all off? Do I think it's better? I definitely do think it looks better with the cellophane all off, but my opinion on it still has not changed. What is the quality of the pack like though? Uh, the quality of the pack is just very much a soft pack of cigarettes. It's very much the texture of the packaging is very much just um, printed paper very much a sort of like sticky sort of 
printed sort of texture, I definitely have to say. Really not much going on, no texture changes or anything like that kind of thing. Um, the print quality seems to be dis decent. The actual quality of the packaging itself seems to be decent as well. I uh, really got nothing to complain about quality-wise, that is for sure. And so I do suppose, without further ado, I do suppose it is now time for me to go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes right here all opened up. And I do suppose it's probably now time for me to go ahead and get one of the True Blue cigarettes all out and to actually go ahead and take a look at what the True Blues actually look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. As said, though, the quality of the packaging is definitely, um, like it's a soft pack of cigarettes. It's nothing really exorbitantly good nor nothing exorbitantly bad kind of thing. It's just a soft pack of cigarettes. And oh, man. Oh, look at those, y'all. Look at those. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man. That truly is pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That truly is pretty cool. Oh man, that is actually, I like that. Let's go ahead and, oh, that was a lot. Decent amount of uh, tobacco fell out, I will admit. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what this cigarette actually looks like, what it feels like, and what the quality of it is like real quick. First off, the first thing I wanna cover is the recessed filter. How far down does that recessed filter go? That, fil that recessed filter goes down really far. And yeah, it's not actually paper in the center. That is definitively plastic. It feels like plastic. That is actually plastic. That is not paper wow and you kind of press it down and it kind of springs back into place and this recessed filter i can't tell exactly how deep it is let me see if i can find here we go i've got like a little bit of a stick right here kind of thing okay so it goes that's how deep it is when compared so it's like that deep that's that's a pretty deep recessed filter that's pretty deep wow that's a pretty deep recessed filter dang wow that's pretty surprising and yeah they do still make these cigarettes with the design in the center right here we can see the design on the front of the pack lines up with the design on the cigarettes itself that's pretty cool if i do say so myself that is pretty cool i love seeing that i love seeing the design on the front lines up with the design on the side that is so cool i ain't gonna lie all that is so cool i love seeing that that is pretty neat. That is pretty neat, y'all. I love that they are still making these with the recessed filters like this. Man, I'm pretty satisfied about that, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, pr I'm, pretty, I'm pretty satisfied about that. I'm pretty happy about that. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. But other than the recessed filter right here, which I've been stuck on for the last couple minutes just because it's so interesting. I've never seen a recessed filter quite like this one. Uh, other than the recessed filter, though, uh, this cigarette definitely has a more basic look than not, I definitely have to say. We can just see there's a white cigarette filter. No, we can actually see where the recessed uh, filter ends. The recessed filter ends right about there because we can kind of see, I can kind of see through it in the light and everything like that kind of thing. So the recess filter ends right about there. And then there's a line of perforation right here. There are a lot of dots and those dots are pretty big. So I am expecting the draw to be much more airy than not, that is for sure. As said though, it's a white filter. And then under all of the perforation and the under the recess filter right here, we can see there's two blue lines right here signifying that these are indeed the true blues. And then under those two blue lines, it just says true right there in blue. Is it the same blue? as they use on the front of the packaging. It's uh, not quite the same blue, but close enough, you know what I'm saying? Close enough, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm glad that they at least attempted to color coordinate. It is a little bit sad when you see it when it's just a completely different color and it's like, what? And what is going on? Why is this a completely different color? I'm glad that's not how this pack is, that is for sure. You know, it just says true right there, pretty basic font, definitely not as uh, definitely not the same logo that they use on the packaging itself, which is a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is kind of thing. And overall, the quality of the cigarettes themselves seem to be a little bit better than not. Um, the cigarettes are a little bit bent, but that's not due to bad quality of the cigarettes. That's just due to them having been damaged in shipping. But I don't think it should affect the smoking experience by any means. The blend of the cigarette is very much, I'd have to say, a surprisingly dark blend of tobacco. I'd have to say very much a medium to dark blend of tobacco. If I had to guess very much a medium to dark blend of tobacco in my personal opinion and smelling this cigarette definitely smells different than what I was thinking. I'm going to get another one out of the pack just real quick, just so I can get a fresh smell. And wow, I'm actually going to smoke this one because this one's not as bent up as, as this one, but wow, that's interesting. I'm getting a very, very, very strong sort of coca smell from this, maybe? It 
It's like licorice coca smell. Yeah, that's what the smell is like, licorice coca. Interesting. Now I did read what the ingredients are used uh, in these cigarettes right here before this video. Uh, the information on, uh, for I wanna say most RJ Reynolds cigarettes, the information for what uh, for what's used inside the cigarettes and everything like that is available online. You can find all of that. And so I looked at what um, was inside this cigarette right here. And it said licorice, but I didn't hear anything about coca. So that coca smell comes as a little bit of a surprise. Maybe that's just the burly in there. It does look to me that this is probably a burly, maybe bur burly oriental blend. I'm not sure. Probably a burly oriental brand. Probably very heavy burly blend, if I had to guess. I don't even know if there's any Virginia in there. There might very well be. I'm not sure, in all honesty. I'm not sure. Huh. Interesting. These do smell much more interesting than not, and they do smell very, very, very sweet as well. And as smell, they have sort of a... And as said, they have sort of a... Not, and as said, as smell. As said, they have sort of a... Yeah, licorice coca smell, which is pretty interesting if I do say so myself. Well, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Hopefully, these are a good smoke, that is for sure. Well, I do suppose I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a dry puff real quick. And on the dry puff, definitely much more airy than not, as predicted. And I'd have to say on the dry puff, the taste, I'm getting mainly a filter taste slash paper taste coming through with a little bit of <sighs> licorice coca as well licorice coca as well so i'm hoping that when it's actually burning that i'm actually going to get that licorice coca taste because that's going to be quite interesting if i do say so myself but i'm not sure if i will it's i'm thinking it might just be one or the other before I go ahead and get this cigarette right here all it up though, I do suppose, first off, I should probably go ahead and take a sip of water and get my letter out of my pocket now, shouldn't I? But, now that I've taken a sip of water, I'm just gonna get my sunglasses on, let's go ahead and get my uh, lighter out of my pocket, and let's go ahead and get one of my true blue cigarettes all it up, and let's go ahead and find out just how truly good or truly bad these cigarettes are. Without further ado, Let's go ahead and get this cigarette right here all it up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. And the taste right off the bat is definitely much more interesting than not. And it is a surprisingly clean taste as well. I'm not getting any sort of an additive taste, chemical taste at the moment. I am getting a little bit of a paper taste as I expected at the beginning of this video, but no sort of additive taste or chemical taste, which is very pleasant if I do say so myself. And I'd have to say right off the bat, these are probably more like heavier lights than not. I do not think that these are light lights or ultra lights by any means. These are definitely more of a heavy light, if I had to guess. Let's go ahead and test the body real quick. Body is not badly sized, but is very airy, if I do say so myself but you can definitely tell that the airflow from these cigarettes are perfectly fine. And the draw is actually surprisingly not all that light. It's actually a pretty heavy draw, if I do say so myself, due to the perforation, but it is a very, very, very airy draw, if I do say so myself as well. But the amount of perforation on the filter definitely gives the draw some significance, that is for sure. It is definitely a heavier draw than not, and quite an airy draw at that. But as said, the... Um, the airflow is perfectly fine, and the body is um, definitely a little bit bigger than I was expecting it to be, but um, definitely still quite airy. And I'd have to say, roughness, smoothness-wise, right off the bat, uh, what, are your, what, what are these like? They're very much like a 5, 6 out of 10. Um, 
I have to say more like a 5.5 out of 10. Uh, I'm not. I'm trying not to do like half ratings for roughness and smoothness, I will admit. So I'm just going to have to determine that a little bit later on in the video. But very much like a, a 5 or a 6 out of 10 right now. Not super smooth, not super rough either. But what is the taste of this cigarette actually like? And I'll be honest with you all. It's a more interesting taste than not. It's very mild. It's very understated. But it very much tastes like how it smells. So I'd have to say the main upfront taste that you get is very much a mild paper-like taste. These are very much paper tasting cigarettes. You can definitely taste the paper a decent amount in my personal opinion. Although it very well might not be the paper, it might be the tobacco. I'm not sure in all honesty. Then under that, you get sort of a licorice coca taste, a sort of licorice coca taste. Um, the licorice is, the licorice taste I feel like is coming from the lighter tobacco and I feel like the um, the, the coca taste is probably coming from the heavier tobacco and the licorice taste is a very light taste and the coca taste is a little bit more, I'd have to say, aftertaste inducing. Like the licorice taste, I, I'm, that's not really the right way of putting it. The licorice taste is what you actually taste on your tongue when you're inhaling and exhaling, whereas the coca taste is what you have as an aftertone. Let me just put it that way kind of thing, as, as an aftertaste. Yeah, and I'd have to say that's very much what the cigarettes taste like. It's a very mild, paper-like taste with some licorice taste, and there's some sweet licorice taste, and some mildly sweet coca-like taste as well. There's not really any sourness going on, not really any bitterness going on. It's very much a mildly sweet cigarette as a whole. Not super sweet by any means, but definitely sweeter than not, which is quite interesting if I do say so myself as these are surprisingly reminiscent of Marlboro Blend 27s right off the top of my head. <sighs> quite interesting, quite interesting if I do say so myself, huh? Huh. Well, that's pretty neat. Well, let's go and test the body one more time. Body, still quite airy, a little bit smaller than the first time I tested the body just because I took a little bit of a smaller hit. I'd have to say these cigarettes are still very much a five out of 10 on the roughness of the scale. I think I'm gonna leave it at about a five out of 10. Definitely a little bit rougher than not, but not super rough by any means. And definitely smoother than your average full flavored cigarette, although they do have some very nice roughness to them. But you know, not a bad smoke at all. These cigarettes very much taste how they smell. I just went ahead and stubbed out the cigarette as that was pretty much all I wanted to it. Although I will admit I could have gotten another hit or two as the filter does not start until just about there. The filter is definitely a little bit smaller than not, which I actually like a decent amount that is for sure. But yeah, definitely the cigarettes taste very much how they smell kind of thing. Very understated taste. Very much, if you're not paying attention to the taste, the main taste you're going to get is that paper taste. And if you smoke the cigarette faster than not, you're definitely going to notice that paper taste more so than not as well. The taste definitely, I feel like, would degrade if you smoke a little bit too quickly kind of thing. But if you don't smoke it too quickly, along with that paper taste, you get a taste of, excuse me, it's like a paper taste, sort of cardboardy taste. I feel like, I feel like the blend of the cigarette might be a... I don't feel like there's any Virginia blend tobacco in there at all. I could be very well wrong about that. Take what I say with a grain of salt. Um, of course, I'm by no means a professional. Um, I'm by no means, well, I am a professional, but I'm, no, I'm by no means an expert. Let me put it that way, of course. Um, but, but, um, I'd have to say the blend of the cigarette is probably an Oriental Burley blend, if I had to guess, uh, with the Oriental giving me, if I had to guess, sort of a basic, mildly sweet, because the paper taste did have a little bit of a mild sweetness to it, a mildly sweet sort of paper cardboardy taste kind of thing. And then under that, I got a sort of licorice coca taste, I definitely have to say. Pretty nice taste if I do say so myself. Pretty nice taste if I do say so myself. I got no sort of icky chemical or additive taste all the way through, which is pleasantly surprising, I will admit. But that paper taste was distinct, but it's not a bad paper taste by any means. And I'd actually have to say the paper taste adds to the flavor of the cigarette, which is something that I do not say about a lot of cigarettes that have paper taste. Usually if it has a paper taste, I am not a fan kind of thing. And I'm 
not a fan of it at all. God, is for sure. But this paper taste, I really don't mind at all because that's the main taste. And then you get an understated taste of licorice and coca. And as you continue smoking, the taste builds up in your mouth more and more. Not a bad taste if I do say so myself. And for a lighter than not cigarette, these are pretty solid if I do say so myself. Definitely very much a light cigarette very much a light cigarette. Not a super light, light cigarette by any means. Definitely not an ultra light cigarette in my personal opinion, but these by no means got me buzzed. And I'd have to say they are very much a light cigarette in my personal opinion, but that's not a bad thing. They're a pretty good light cigarette, if I do say so myself. And while I'm usually biased against light cigarettes, I will admit this is actually a pretty good light cigarette in my personal opinion. So what are my final thoughts on this pack of cigarettes right here? Well, overall, I'm not really the biggest fan of the packaging. There are aspects to it that I do like, such as this logo right here. But other than that, I'm not really the biggest fan of this packaging, but it definitely does look a lot better with the cellophane off. I'd have to say the look of the cigarettes are uh, is, is a pretty basic look, but my favorite thing about the look of the cigarette is definitely the recessed filter. Definitely a much more interesting looking filter than not that is for sure. But the look of the cigarettes itself uh, is really not that interesting kind of thing. It's a pretty basic look if I do say so myself. The smell of the cigarettes, the quality of the cigarettes was all pretty good if I do say so myself. And the taste as a whole was pretty nice. The taste, as said, was very much a sort of uh, paper cardboard taste with an undertone of um, licorice and coca. Not too bad if I do say so myself. All very, very, very mild taste, not super distinct by any means. Definitely something you kind of have to take your time to notice the taste with, that is for sure. But they very much taste how they smell. The body, not particularly big by any means. The airflow was perfectly fine all the way through. The draw was quite heavy and airy. And the roughness of the cigarettes was very much a five out of 10 in my personal opinion. Not bad smokes at all. Would I buy a true blue cigarette with my own money? I do suppose is the, um, Final thing I want to cover in my final thoughts. So would I buy one of these with my own money? Actually, if I was looking for a light cigarette to smoke, if I wanted to chain smoke or something like that kind of thing, is if I'm going to be chain smoking, I want to smoke a light cigarette, I will admit. If I'm smoking a full flavored, I just get too buzzed too quickly kind of thing. If I'm going to be chain smoking, I honestly could see myself pick up a pack of these and I could honestly see myself spend my own money on these, I will admit. These are not bad smokes at all pretty enjoyable if I do say so myself, and I am definitely going to enjoy smoking the rest of this pack over the next couple days or so, that is for sure. They are by no means the best cigarettes I've ever tried, but they are certainly not the worst cigarettes I've ever tried, and they are definitely, in my personal opinion, better than not. And um, yeah, these truly are pretty decent smokes, that is for sure. Um, what comparable, what, what cigarettes are they comparable to though? I'd have to say they're comparable to, trying to think, I'd have to say comparable to Terry Tins to an extent, taste-wise, but not really strength-wise. Marlboro Blend 27s, a little bit as well. I'd have to say, other than that, I'm trying to think. Marlboro Blend 27s are definitely the main one that's coming to mind. They're definitely the main one that's coming to mind. Marlboro Blend 27s, I'd have to say those are the main cigarette that's coming to mind. Those are heavier than these cigarettes right here. But those are the cigarettes that are coming to mind the most comparable wise, comparison wise to these cigarettes right here. I don't know if that's an accurate comparison. I will admit it's been a long time since I've smoked blend 27s, but I feel like that's the most comparable cigarette to these right here. These are pretty dang good light cigarettes, I will admit. And they might very well be one of my favorite light cigarettes that I've tried from the United States so far. Not bad smokes at all. Could be a little bit heavier. I'd prefer definitely a little bit of a heavier cigarette, but not bad smokes at all. If I was looking to just pick up a pack normally though, I wouldn't buy these, but if I was specifically looking to chain smoke and I saw a pack of these, I would be very tempted to pick them up, that is for sure. So what is the rating I'm thinking for the true blue cigarettes? Well, I'll be frank. I'm a bigger fan of them than not. No chemical taste, no additive taste. That's much appreciated. Not a super big fan of the packaging though, and they're a little bit too light for my personal preference. I would not buy these on a, oh, there's a, there's like a yellow jacket flying around me. That was a little bit scary, I will admit. Um, I would not buy them on like a super routine basis, that is for sure. These could by no means be a daily cigarette for me, but I am gonna enjoy smoking the rest of this pack. And I would buy them again if I was looking for a cigarette to chain smoke, as said. I'm thinking a solid seven out of 10. I'm thinking a solid seven out of 10, I will admit. Seven out of 10, definitely above average cigarettes in my personal opinion, definitely a more enjoyable smoke than not, just not something that I would buy as my first pick. Unless I was chain smoking, and then if these were actually offered, maybe I'd buy them, yeah. Um, but, yeah, not a bad smoke at all. Not a bad smoke at all. 
Thank you very much once again to Fred Scott for sending this pack of cigarettes over to my P.O. Box for me to make some content about. I really, really, really do appreciate it. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to comment down below what y'all's thoughts are on the true cigarettes if you guys have ever tried them before or if you guys just want to, or if you guys just want to give your opinion on the true cigarettes based off of what I said in this video, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my uh, second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Vienna, thank you so much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?